Get it one, BHD Dad here. Today we're going to look into the Dell 7760 all in one. Now, this is a 27 inch all in one, so all you have to worry about is the screen and keyboard and mouse. So it's a pretty nice, easy, simple setup for a nice, slick, sort of simple setup. Is that's what you're after? So, this is a great idea for that. Now, in Australia, the 7760 all in one unit starts at $2,650. I'm sure you should probably can get it a little bit cheaper than that, but it is actually quite configurable. Put a comment below. I'd love to hear what your feedback on these all-in-one units. For me, I, I do enjoy these nice, sleek, simple sort of setup, and it's quite nice. Now, what you can configure in it is an i7 and i8. It is still running the eighth generation Intel CPUs, and you can get it up to 32 gigs of RAM. You can also configure this to one terabyte of SSD hard drive. Now, there's a few screens options you can actually take on this one and you can select a 4K but it doesn't have a touch for 4K. If you go for a touch screen version it will be full HD which means it will do 1920 by 1080 resolution. Also with the screen selection it is quite important to have a look when you actually do select configure it is there is one that has just Intel integrated graphics and there will be two which have discrete graphics. Now the discrete graphics on this is the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050. So it's got a bit a little bit grunt in there. Not great for gaming, but it can perform a little bit of gaming, but it is more for to make sure it can actually handle a little bit of graphics intensive applications. If you configure this all in one unit with the discrete graphics option, you can actually drive two external 4K monitors for it. That's freaking fantastic, I think. So that will be three 4K monitors. Pretty sweet. So when you unpack this, what you get is just the all-in-one unit, keyboard and mouse, and power cable. That's pretty simple as it gets. It does come with a high adjustable stand there, so it's pretty good. Now you can also configure this with a stand that actually has a DVD writer built into the stand. It's pretty cool. As you can see, the actual bezel on this is actually quite thin, so it's got like nearly infinity edge sort of display there. I kind of like that, pretty nice. And the speaker's actually built on the bottom. Let's have a look at the components in this computer. Look on the right edge here, all we have is the hard drive light, and of course on the other side, on the front here is the power button. Now if we spin it to the left side, what we have is an SD card reader, we have a USB-C port, which is USB 3.1 Gen 2, and of course the USB 3.1, and we have a headset port as well. So hidden away up the top there is actually a webcam. So if you just press down here, and it pops up. Pretty sweet. To make it easier to see the ports at the back, I'm gonna take the computer off the monitor stand there. All you need to do is lift this lever here, and then just give it a nice sort of lift, it, push it outwards at the bottom, and you should be able to lift it up and take it out. So here we'll have a look at the ports at the back. So here we have a security cable slot. We also have the HDMI port, we've got the display port, Ethernet port, and four USB 3.1s. Now the first two can do wake up on power, audio out port and the power connector of course. Since I've got the computer on facing downwards I might as well show you how to actually open this computer so you can do the RAM upgrades and hard drive upgrades if you wish to. So all you need to do is actually really simple you don't even need any tools all you need to do is just press this lever down push it down and then just push the whole back part forward as you can see pretty easy and pretty much you can just lift it out and that's literally the components inside here. So here you can actually add an extra hard drive here, which is a two and a half inch style notebook. And all you do is just press that lever down and it pretty much pops out. So you don't need any sort of there. And you can pretty much lift this door here and that's where the RAM upgrade is. So at the moment it's running in 16 gigs in this version that I have here, but it is able to configure up to 32 gigs. And pretty much just pop it back in. So this will be the power supply and then you've got 
the CPU and graphics in there. They are solid computers and very easy to maintain and work with. If you have any questions about the 7760, put a comment below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.